Hey everybody, Dave here from Vinception. Got a really cool Pinot Noir to taste and review today. I have the 2017 Brooks Note, a Zaya Ranch Pinot Noir from Marin County. Uh, Marin County located about 17 miles north of San Francisco, right over the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, and that borders with Sonoma. Uh, Marin County is uh, where I live. So very familiar with this area. The Azaya Ranch located um, in the Petaluma Gap area, which is towards the northern part of Marin County and the southern part of Sonoma. Um, and very well known for producing great Pinot Noirs. The climate's great there. The Petaluma Gap has these amazing winds that come through and really cool everything down. Um, and that's what Pinot Noir really likes is these warm days and cool nights. And uh, what that does is it allows the grapes to ripen yet retain the acidity. And that's what you need for a nice, well-balanced Pinot Noir. So let's quickly talk about Brooks Note. I'm super excited because next week I'm doing a virtual tasting with Gary Brooks. And we are tasting a few of his wines. This is not one of them. This wine I saw and said, I got to give this a try because it's a single vineyard Pinot Noir that he does. And um, there's only 35 cases made. It's not cheap and it's hard to find. In fact, they're, uh, they're sold out on their website. So I found this in a local uh, uh, place. I'm not going to promote anybody, but um, I found this there and uh, picked it up and said, I got to give this a try. Um, I opened it up the other day. Uh, it was a little tight and uh, I decided to let it breathe for a little bit. I am trying it to uh, day and um, it, it, it's nice now. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, I'm losing light fast, so I'm going to try to get through this review really quickly. But uh, let me talk quickly about uh, Brooks Note. Gary Brooks, him and his wife were in tech and then they decided to get into the wine uh, business and uh, he actually went back to school to UC Davis and went to school for viticulture and phenology and got a degree in those um, decided to go forward in, in winemaking. He did an internship at Ravenswood and then from there went to Acacia where he first made some Pinot Noir then went on to Costa Brown and was part of the team that made the 2009 Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir that actually uh, got wine of the year from the Wine Spectator in 2011. So uh, very high accolades uh, there. And then he went on to Dutton Goldfield uh, and was the assistant winemaker there. So in 2011, they decided to uh, start making their own wine commercially and uh, yeah, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him more about that uh, in the virtual tasting and I'll try to get some more information. I've had his rosé of Pinot Noir on my wine list at La Central for a couple of years uh, on the Wine by the Glass program right now. And, um, or it was before COVID. <laughs> and so, um, that's one of the wines that we will be reviewing. I'm excited to, to tr taste that. Um, anyway, let's get into this uh, wine real quick and uh, see what it's all about. As I said, I'm losing light, but I got a little bit and uh, the lights from uh, the, the camera here. Uh, this wine is a light ruby color, medium viscosity. Um, this wine is around 14, 13.8% ABV. So there you go. Um, let's see what we got on the nose. Cranberry, cherry, pomegranate, right up front. Really nice. Um, a little raspberry. I'm getting a little smokiness too. A little earthiness, a little mushroom. Um, 
a little baking spice, touch of vanilla. I don't know offhand how much uh, new oak or oak in general uses. Uh, it'll be something I'll ask them uh, this week in that virtual uh, tasting. Let's give it a try, see what we got on the palate. A lot of that red fruit coming through. You got that uh, raspberry, you got cherry, uh, pomegranate, that cranberry, good acidity. Um, all those flavors, nice tart up front, mid palate, got a little bit of weight to it. Um, then I get a lot of that uh, baking spice and um, that earthy notes coming through on the end, that vanilla, that, you know, indicative of the oak treatment. I, again, I don't know uh, the exact amount of oak on this, but um, it's, uh, I'm tasting it a little bit. Yeah, really nice, well-balanced, not a huge long finish, but, um, but it's nice. Um, like I said before, when I opened it originally, it was a little bit tight and um, now it's really started to get the complexity to it um, where I'm tasting a lot more uh, before I just got a lot of that bright fruit, um, and, uh, definitely opening it up. I would, I would throw this in the decanter for an hour and, uh, before I, before I actually drank it, uh, if I wanted to just drink it with a, with a meal or something like that. Speaking of meals, what would I pair this with? Uh, duck breast. This would be killer with duck breast. Um, this would be nice with lighter meats, filet mignon. Um, you could do a nice mushroom risotto with this. Let's recap real quick. I got the 2017 Brooks Note Azaya Ranch Pinot Noir from Marin County. On the nose, I was getting a lot of that red fruit, cranberry, pomegranate, cherry, a uh, little raspberry. I uh, got a little bit of uh, earthy notes as well. I got a little bit of mushroom, um, forest floor. I got um, a little bit of that uh, vanilla indicative of the oak. I got a little baking spice on the palate. Uh, a lot of tart, bright uh, cranberry, cherry, uh, that pomegranate and raspberry right on the front of the palate. It was a uh, medium bodied uh, mid palate. And uh, towards the end, I was getting a little bit of that baking spice and earthiness and uh, not a long finish, but um, but a nice finish. Good acidity to balance that out. And uh, yeah, really nice wine. Um, this wine, as I said before, not cheap. I think retails about 60 bucks. Uh, and uh, it, it's worth it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, definitely check back uh, when I reviewed a couple of the other Brooks Note wines. Uh, and those should be up in uh, you know the next couple of weeks or so. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and definitely subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out some of my other videos. I think you'll like them. And as always, until next time, cheers and enjoy wine.